Welcome back to Orange Hat Reviews, everyone. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. Ezra Miller is at it again, apparently. So, this is coming from TMZ, an exclusive. Ezra Miller, parents say actors taking control of their daughter, asks court for protective order. Ezra Miller is not only a bad influence, they're a danger to the well-being of an 18-year-old woman at least according to her parents, who are asking the court to step in and keep the actor away from her. According to new legal documents obtained by TMZ, Takata Iron Eyes met a then 23-year-old Miller in 2016, when she was just 12. And the actor was visiting this Standing Rock Reservation in North Dakota. From there, Takata's parents said she and Ezra developed a friendship they believe puts Takata at risk. Takata's parents say Miller flew her to London in 2017, a 13-year-old, folks, at the time, to visit a studio where Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them was filmed, as she was a big fan and Miller was a star in the movie. At the time of the trip, they say Takata was 14, all right, 14, sorry, and Ezra was 25. This is disgusting behavior, folks. As the friendship continued, Takata's parents claim Ezra supplied their underage daughter with alcohol, marijuana, and LSD. Not only that, they claimed Ezra best known f as The Flash in DC superhero films, disrupted Takata's schooling at a private institute in Massachusetts, so much she dropped out in December 2021. The parents say they flew to Miller's Vermont home in January to get their daughter and discovered she didn't have her driver's license, car keys, bank card, and other items needed to navigate life independently. They say they also found bruises on Takata's body, which they allege Ezra caused. Shortly after she got home, Takata's parents say they f or she fled to NYC to reunite with Ezra. And from there, the pair has been traveling together to Vermont, Hawaii, and Los Angeles, the two were spotted at a club in Hawaii in video obtained by TMZ. As we reported, Miller got arrested several times during their stay in Hawaii, including an incident where they allegedly attacked bar patrons. In the docs, Takata, or in the documents, Takata's parents state Ezra uses violence, intimidation, threat of violence, fear, paranoia, delusions, and drugs to hold sway over a young adolescent Takata. They claim Ezra's also told Takata to solely go by Gibson, or Gibson, a nickname she formerly used with family and her friends. Okay, that shows intent that he is trying to abscond with her. This is a at the time, an underage woman, young woman. He was 25. I'm not going to use his pronouns because this person is scum. Ezra Miller is fucking scum. Then there's this. They say Ezra's decided Takata is non-binary transgender when she had previously declared herself non-binary queer gay. I'm an adult and I deserve to feel authority in my own body. I'm tired of wondering whether or not cops will show up then or to section me on a daily basis. I have decided upon a therapist that, and I'm excited to now engage in conversation with a mental health professional about my anxiety and probable depression. It is no one's business. My choices are my own. Yada, yada, yada. It seems Takata is aware of her parents' concerns. She recently took to social media to say she's mentally stable and her comrade Ezra uh, has been 
a help in her life. She also says she's recently gotten a therapist and is looking forward to the future. Takata's parents are asking the court to step in and issue an order of protection against Ezra on behalf of their daughter, and a hearing is set for next month. We reached out to Ezra's team. So far, no word back. So yeah, this man basically not sexually groomed a woman, a young woman who was a minor at the time, but he kidnapped her essentially. They didn't, the parents didn't give her permission to go to these areas, did they? It's not reported that they did. Now we can assume that the worst happened, yes, but we all, must also acknowledge that there is a possibility that there, the opposite is true. But for the fact that he took her out of country when she was young, underage, allegedly giving her drugs, alcohol, and stuff, that's grooming behavior. Ezra Miller is a menace to society, folks. I have said this before. He is a menace to society. He needs to be stopped. He needs to be put in jail. He needs to have the key thrown away as well. There is a reason why people are not endorsing his works. It is because he is causing harm to society. And then he wants to play the victim when the entire incident is being recorded and it simply shows him trying to be a victim. Anyway, folks, that's going to be the video. You all know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that jazz. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. What do you think of all of this news? What do you think should happen to Ezra Miller? Let me know all your thoughts down in the comment section below, folks. This has been Orange Hat Reviews. Stay humble.